good morning as we make uh, another cup of coffee today i'm trying to answer a question that many people have had over the years and it is why doesn't the tower fall down those enormous waves you know that are so terribly difficult for boats and places on land and just tear up everything well the answer is basic physics and i know it's still early i haven't had my coffee so <laughs> watch out here we go so if you think about the tower itself it's an enormous box it's all made out of steel so therefore it's very very heavy and um subject to all the forces of nature all around it except for the fact and i could probably demonstrate this to you a little bit better here with uh about this bowl of water and a knife but first this will make my brain work better I don't know if it'll make it a less boring story. But... The legs of the tower at the water level are 42 inches in diameter, which sounds huge. About this big around, give or take. And the water rushing past The water rushing past is a lot like uh, this little ocean right here and the leg of a tower. Now, if the leg of a tower or anything in the water was wide and the water is rushing past it, there's a lot of resistance. You can see it's really stirring it up. But the legs of the tower are relatively very, very thin. So it doesn't really block it. Same as you can take something weak like a straw and stir up your soda or something and the straw doesn't just fold. So even though there's a huge amount of mass of water rushing past, it basically just slides right past those skinny legs. Well, we up here, because of the design of it, where they tied it all together, just kind of look down and watch it. The only thing that we have to worry about is that little piece of steel that connects this one, that connects that one. And we've lost one of those key ones, which is why we've asked you guys to help support. Um, you lose a few of those supports, and yes, it all comes tumbling down, so. We're not anywhere close to that, we hope. Because, yeah, okay, we'll be out here for a hurricane this year. At least I will. Done it three times. As long as it's not a huge hurricane, I say we do it again. It's beautiful. The waves are huge. The winds are fierce and we get a chance to see something that's just absolutely gorgeous in nature that otherwise you would not be out in by virtue of being up here on this deck. So, Science 101. Coffee, number one. You all have a great day.